morning. Well, after a rainy night, it's brightened up. Enough for us to press on from Penkridge down towards Tixel. Don't know how far we'll get. We'll certainly be dropping off at Aldi in Bazich, and then we'll see where we go from there. Weather and locks depending. Let's go. Here we are again at Bazich. Brief stop for Aldi. that was quite a cruise. It's almost up to our higher boat day standards. Penkridge to Tixel Wide. With shopping and loss of mobile phone, thankfully I found it again, on the way. No apologies for stopping at this uh, idyllic mooring once again. Judith can look for her wildlife and we can weather out tomorrow's predicted heavy rain in lovely surroundings. So that's the plan and that's why we pressed on today. Sun setting, rain's coming, time to get inside the boat and get cosy. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good night.
well, it's the next day and the predicted storm has hit with full force. We did manage to get to the Wimpy at Milford this morning and had an unexpectedly lovely walk through the Shugborough Estate back to Great Haywood before the heavens opened and we got a little bit damp, shall we say, on the way back to the boat. But we're all cosy now and I think we'll stay indoors until the weather clears. Morning. Well, the storm has passed, but as you can see from the waves on the canal there, it's left a windy old day. So we're not going to do too much because it's no fun navigating a boat in the wind. Just down there to Great Hayward, pick up some water, empty the toilet, up a lock and find somewhere to moor. Don't know what we'll do this afternoon. Maybe one final walk in Cannock Chase before we leave this area for the foreseeable future. Uh, sorry about the wind noise. Um, let's see. Junction. Bye bye. Southampton and Worcester. This will do. Nice spot, relatively shaded from the wind by those trees on the right, but open views to Cannock Chase. So I think we'll stop here. Enjoy Great Haywood for one last time before we head off down the Trenton Mersey in the direction ultimately of Leicester. Let's do some solar powered washing uh, as long as the sun stays out, mostly. So it's a blustery old afternoon but we thought we'd go for one little explore on Milford Common, retracing our steps back to Milford uh, on the walk we did yesterday, only in slightly better weather. So I thought I'd bring you along this time. Little tunnel under the Trent Valley line. Here on Essex Bridge we see the confluence of the River Sow on the left with the River Trent on the right. That's an appropriate name for a day like today. Another one of Shugborough's Follies. This one's called the Dark Lantern. And here we are, looking over the Sow Valley. With a sow in the distance there. And here is the other portal of Shugborough Tunnel. Through the trees here, you can see this hidden lake catch glimpses of it from the main path up the hill there behind me. Here we are walking up into the Sat Nal Hills part of uh, Can Chase I guess. And there's Hadrian's Arch, which tells us that we're going back into the Shugborough Estate to walk back to the canal, the pub and the farm shop. What a fantastic little walk that was. Well worth staying in Great Haywood one last time. See you back at the boat. There's Dreammaker, sitting there basking in the sunshine. 
we've got to go and do a bit of shopping and possibly visit a hostelry before we find our way back to her. Right, back on the boat. We've got sausages, we've got onion gravy, and we had a nice pint in the Clifford Arms. The wind's getting up, and I think it's time to uh, settle in for the evening. So, uh, unless anything interesting happens, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Morning. Well, with some reluctance, plan today is to leave Great Haywood, cruise via Rugeley, Armitage, where they make the toilets, Handsacre, ultimately aiming for Fradley or Alriwas. We might take a couple of days to do that, but that's the plan. Water to get, shopping to get, and those horrible narrows along the way. So let's go. locked on and now just passing through the edge of the village of Colwich itself. Pretty little canal side houses here, typical of so much of this canal but still lovely to look at and cruise by. I have said this before and call me a Philistine but I do like a nice section of well manicured suburban canal. There's Cannock Chase. Goodbye Cannock Chase. And here's Woolsey Bridge. Woolsley Bridge, I think. Which is where we moored coming up here and met up with Claire and Irene for that lovely little cruise to Great Haywood. There's the Trent, just running along beside us. Trent and Mersey Canal, of course. We are going over the River Trent again. Here we are moored up on the visitor moorings in Rugeley. We're not stopping, although they're pretty nice actually. The advantage of these moorings is that there is a Tesco literally a few hundred yards away. So stock up time. So, on our way again, we stopped at Tesco, had a spot of lunch. Next order of the day is water. So that's where we're stopping next, hopefully.
back in uh, Handsacre, an hour or so from Fradley. Done enough for one day. And this is a particularly picturesque little mooring down from the pub. A bit more manicured canal. And you know how I love manicured canal. And here's the field we walked over, full of golden corn. Not anymore, it's all harvested and ploughed, ready for next year. So a pleasant evening, and uh, we'll stop here. Sun's going down in about an hour or so, so we'll cosy up in the boat and see you in the morning. What a lovely autumnal morning it is here at Handsacre. Very heavy dew overnight. We were nice and cosy beside the fire. Now it's time to make the relatively short hop to Fradley, possibly beyond to Alrewas. ever-growing handsacre. The canal delves back into the wooded countryside for a bit. HS2 is going to shatter the piece of the canal. This is an apolitical vlog, so I won't comment any further. I think this is the point where HS2 will be crossing the canal. Well, this is a rare beast. 14 day moorings. We're just above Shade House Lock, Fradley's a short walk down there. This might be a place for Dreammaker to stay for a couple of days. But we'll go and have a little look and maybe move on. Well, we've had a nice time in Fradley. Went for a little walk, revisited Fradley Pool, sat outside the mucky duck, gone goozling, and enjoying our pints of tiger. And now we're going to settle down on the boat as the sun goes down. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little cruise. Next time we're off down the Trent and Mersey towards the Trent itself. Uh, I hope if you have enjoyed this, you like, subscribe and comment. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye for now.